Well, I don't want to undermine the process that is very clearly set out in Section 13 of the Public Order Act. It's up to the police to initiate an application and they must do that within their operational discretion, their operational independence. And if they do that, I will consider it on their own. I think I've been pretty clear that these are hate marches. They are, we, I think, chanting of jihad on the streets of Britain in the 21st century is utterly despicable. And I don't see any decent person or, or how the vast majority of the British people uh, can find that to be acceptable behaviour. It's sickening. It's sickening. I think if you've seen images of hundreds of people chanting jihad, being corralled, uh, chanting from the river to the sea, which is a call to arms used by terrorists, celebrating the largest single loss of Jewish life since the Holocaust, glorifying acts of terrorism. I don't think there's any other way but to call them hate marches. It's an Armistice Day is uh, a day that is of profound national significance in Britain. It represents uh, our moment of collective mourning and remembrance and reverence. And it must be treated with the solemnity with which it deserves. Uh, if anyone were to vandalise the cenotaph, uh, they must be put into a jail cell faster than their feet can touch the ground. Sir Mark has made, it, uh, has Mark made some comments about his concerns that he has. We keep our laws under constant review, and if there is a need to change the law, I won't hesitate.